Hey vintage lovers, alright so I have something a little bit different for you today. I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to do a quick and easy turban using several different scarf styles. So not everybody has the same style of scarves, so I wanted to show you several different ways to tie knots and I mean get it done really really quick. I'm going to slow it down um, just so you can see what I'm doing. But uh, I've been wearing turbans a lot recently because it's been raining like crazy here. Uh, I am a mom. I don't always have time to do my hair. Makeup you can do over the course of a day if you're going out. Like It doesn't take that long to do the hair. As you know, if you're into doing any kind of vintage hair, it takes forever. Um, and I have shorter hair right now, so wet sets are like a disaster. I've never learned how to do them on on shorter hair. I'm waiting for my hair to grow out so I can start doing them again, but I've been getting into doing turbans again. I've done them in the past and I've been doing them a lot again recently. So I want to show you how to do it quick and easy. So let's get started. So the first style and the first scarf I'm going to show you is actually I just picked this scarf up uh, recently in my last uh, Savers haul. If you watched that video, well thank you. And You've seen this one before then. It's a very large scarf. Just a square, plain old scarf. So what you're going to do with this, fold it in half so that you get a very large triangle. Corner to corner, and then you've got this. Step one, put your hair back. I should start there. I'm like trying to go fast. Uh, so yeah, the first thing you need to do is put all your hair back. Um, if you want to get fancy with your turbans, you can totally style your hair. You can do finger waves, you can put a nice little curl in there and have that visible. Or if you're like me and you're lazy or you're trying to hide a really bad hair day, just put it all up. Get it up. Now I, I'm still growing out an undercut so you're still going to see some of my hair sticking out of the bottom. And in the 1940s it was a very popular style to actually wear a turban with your hair down. So feel free to do everything that I'm showing you, either dressed up or with your hair down. So by no means do you have to do it this way. But otherwise, if you're doing it like me because you just want to get something done, Throw your hair up. I've got two hair combs just to take the, the front back and then I've got uh, three of those like clippies in just to keep the rest of it up and that's all I've got going on. Um, since I'm going to be taking it on and off I might have some hair flying away but we're going to do the best we can. So where we left off we tied our square scarf into a triangle. Now all you're going to do with this is put your head down and put this at the nape of your neck. So you're going to go down so that you're here and then all you're going to do is tie one knot. I hope this is on my own camera. Here we go. Let me see what I can do here. Sorry, I'm doing the best I can without a mirror too. So you tied it in one knot. So at this point you want to make sure that your hair is all tucked in. Make sure, you know, Everything's where it has to be. And you also want just a little bit of your earlobe sticking out. Personally, I always like to wear earrings with my turbans. I think it just dresses it up and it makes it look so much nicer. That and I have a ton of jewelry. So that's it. You tied it in one little knot. And now what you're going to do, you've got this. Oh, this is so hard to do. I'm sorry, guys, without a uh, mirror. So bear with me. So now you've got this extra doohickey here. Put it down. You're going to take your two bunny ears and you're going to tie it in another knot. Push this back and you're going to tie yet another knot. I think you see where this is going. Now, when you're tying your turban and you're doing that first knot, I didn't mention this before, you want to make sure that you do not tie it too tight. You want it tight enough that it stays on your head, but if you tie it too tight and you really pull it, it's just going to go and just suck right off your head. So you want it tight enough that it's on, but you, again, you'll feel. Practice makes perfect, and the more you do it, the easier it gets. So now at this point, I don't have a mirror, so I just have to kind of feel around because I let go of them. You have to find your bunny ears, and you're just going to tuck them in. So you tied a couple knots, and then that's it. Ah, there's the other one. <laughs> I knew I would find it. And you just tuck, and that's it. If you'd like to um, bobby pin this in place, you know, some people like to put some clips 
here or here to high, um, hold it. I find that once it's on, this is, it's on, it, it's pretty good. You have to have a turban or a scarf rather of the right material. If it's too slippery, if it's that like silky polyester, it's just going to slide right out of your hair and then you're going to need to clip it. And even if you clip it, it's probably not going to stay. Uh, silk is great or just a rougher material. Um, one of the, a couple of scarves I'm going to show you in the next part are polyester, but they're not that, that slippery material. So you want something with a little bit of texture to it. So that, this is style number one. Ta-da! And how easy was that? Tie, not, not, not. Even explaining it, it only took me like a minute to do that. So if you are looking in the mirror and you're not talking about it, you can see how fast that was. So this is great for hiding wet sets gone wrong. This is great for rainy days, frizzy summer, uh, heading out the door, going food shopping, and you just don't have time, or you just want to rock a turban because it matches your outfit. So that was scarf number one. So the next one I want to show you is a more... Um, I guess you would call it a traditional style scarf that you would see people using for turbans. I'm sorry, it's still knotted up. I don't take, not that I don't take care of my scarves, when I'm taking off a turban and the last time I wore this, I just like undo it and slide it off before I go to bed. So, so this one is just a red, you can see it's kind of like a sheer scarf. It's much thinner, but it's much longer. So this one is goes on and on and on. So you're going to take this scarf and now instead of starting it at the nape of the neck, you're going to start this at the top. So you put this down here and you can, again, if you have your hair done and you have finger waves or a curl or something that you want to show off, you're going to start this a little further back. If you want to hide all of your hair, you're going to start this a little bit towards the front of your head. I like showing just an inch or two of hair. Um, sometimes if I actually take the time, I will part my hair in the middle. I love the way that looks with a turban. So, and again, I'm just going to straighten this out a little bit, make sure it's in the right spot. And now with your two long ends, you're just going to cross that behind you. And again, just tuck and tidy. I'm sorry if this is not going to be as perfect as it could be because it is really hard to do this blindly. So, it is definitely interesting. So now you've got these two ends. You're going to now do what we did before. You're going to take it to the top and tie it in a knot. Now, you can do what I did in the last turban and just tie it in a knot, tie it in a knot, tie it in a knot so you get some height. I wear it like that sometimes, but the way that I actually wear my turbans, like 75% of the time, I'm going to show you right now. And I wear a style like this that's got a lot more fabric. I actually like to, that's the, the anchor knot, you tie it in one more knot just to give it a little bit more height because you still, you know, you want it to look like a turban. So you got that. You don't want to tie that next second knot too tight because you then it would just look like a knot. You actually want it to have a little bit of height. So now this is the part that gets a little fancy. You're going to twist, 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 twist. And then you tuck it. And then that's it. So this is a little bit sleeker than the one that has height. This one obviously is a little bit more, um, I don't know, yeah, sleeker. I guess that's the correct word. You're going to tuck that. And again, if you feel more comfortable, you can pin it. Um, I can feel that this is definitely a little bit loose compared to the way that I usually do it. I usually do it in a mirror, and it's super quick though. You can see, you put it at the top, you twist it, you tie it once, twice, twist, twist, tuck, and then that's it. And the way I like to wear this one, again, I have like my, my ears sticking out here. I actually really like to wear um, like a brooch up on top and some matching earrings. But you can also, I actually grab these just to show you. This is a scarf clip. You can find me a little knot a scarf clip on it. I wanted to go a little nautical, so I grabbed my anchor scarf clip. Thought that would be cute. And you can really dress this up any way you want to. You can keep it plain like this, or like I said, one of my favorite things to do is to do a matching uh, brooch with an earring set or a necklace, something to tie the whole thing together. I think that that is, it just looks really, really great. And this particular scarf I bought on Amazon for like nothing, a couple of bucks. 
I don't even remember. I got it a couple years ago because um, I'm definitely a, a turban fan. But I got it specifically to match certain outfits. So you can get specific colors just to match certain outfits. I've seen these style scarves in the dollar store, guys. So just look around and you'll find it. Now all the scarves I'm showing you, like I got this one on Amazon. Uh, the last one I showed you I got at Savers for like $2. So I suggest getting a couple different scarves and a couple different colors. That way, no matter what happens, definitely get a black one. So if you have a plan and it goes awry and you're like, crap, my hair, turban, <laughs> it's always the way to go. So just now that I explained that one really quick, I just want to show you the exact same thing I just did, except with a different scarf style, just to show you that you can really do this with any kind of scarf. This is another one that I just picked up. So it is a, it's actually polyester, but it's a sheer, it's very long again, but you can see it tapers at the end and then it gets quite thick in the middle. Now, something like this, I would actually generally do like that 1950s. I am in a convertible and I don't want to mess up my hair kind of thing but if you're trying to hide horrible hair the second the wind blows that's it it's off and everyone's looking at your hair and that's not what we're going for so you can still take one of these type of scarves and make a turban out of it so i'm going to show you how to do that now so again you're going to take this long end and now something like this you could do starting here or at the nape of your neck it really depends on what style you want to go for I already have it here, so we're going to go with this style. And now I'm just going to go quick, just to show you. Ah, I'm trying to go quick. Oh, it's so hard to do things without a mirror, guys. You should try it. It's like a new skill. Twist it. Make sure your ears are out. Tie it in a knot. I think I got it. Whoop. Make sure it's in place. Tie it in another knot. Now this style is definitely, you know, with the animal print, a little bit more rockabilly. So if you want to leave like a bunny ear sticking out, you can. And otherwise, this one, yeah, I'll tie it in one more knot just to get that out. Take your fabric and just tuck anything you don't want showing out of the way. Take this. I'm going to tuck that under here. Tuck that under here. Eh, it's coming out feel it. Again, no mirror, but that was it. It's not perfect, but you, you get the idea. So this is, this is really all it is to do a simple turban. Now, if you guys want to know how to do some more intricate turban styles, let me know because I've done plenty of different styles through the years and I've worn really fancy really intricate turbans as well. So if that's something that you're interested in, please let me know, comment below that you'd like to see that. And I would definitely do a video for that for you. But I wanted just to show you like a quick in and out the door, you run in, you want to throw a turban on style. So now the last one that I'm going to show you is not technically a turban, but it is awesome. I got this awesome little head wrap, I don't even know what to call it, at Viva in the last time I went, which is in 2011, so ages ago. I gotta go back, I miss it. So I wish there was a tag in here, I wish I could tell you what brand it was, but there is not. But it, they have lots of vendors there. If you go to Viva, bring tons of money because you're going to spend a lot of money. But it's a, a pre-sewn, already ready to go, throw it on, head wrap. So let's show you what it looks like. Now I have definitely worn this just out because it's adorable, but I wear this one particularly more around uh, summertime because I have a red bathing suit and with the cherries, it matches. That's it. I popped it on, tied it in a knot, tied it in another knot. You can leave the bunny ears in or you can tuck them. You can do whatever you want. That was it. It was done. So if you guys are seriously like in a rush, I would recommend getting one of these. Um, they are, I would look it up under like Rockabilly Head Wrap and it's going to come right up. Um, a lot of people make these. They're on Etsy. If you know how to sew, make it yourself. I'm still trying to learn how to sew. I can make a mean pillowcase, <laughs> but I'm working up to stuff like this. So, but that was it guys. 
Um, I hope this was helpful to somebody. Um, if you are not currently subscribed, please do because I plan on doing some more uh, fun tutorials, hopefully. Um, definitely not makeup because I am not a makeup guru. You can watch somebody else for that, but definitely just some other things to maybe hopefully make your life a little bit easier. And all things vintage.